going on everybody welcome back to the channel hope you guys are having a good day so today I'm bringing you guys some content some knowledge on Amzo all right let's get this video start so like usual you guys if you enjoyed this video please go ahead smash the thumbs up it helps the channel out so much all right so you guys today it's been a while it's been a minute since I actually talked about Amzoil uh, we have a lot of new subscribers on the channel you know maybe they haven't seen the older Amzoil videos where I talked about it and stuff so I'm gonna talk about it today uh, and just kind of elaborate on it you know is Amzoil worth it okay uh, you can see right here we have some heavy-duty Amzoil antifreeze we have their 15w40 uh, synthetic premium marine diesel oil and then this is just the same thing for the coolant. And then over here we have a 25,000 mile Amsoil brand made by Amsoil. Amsoil brand uh, oil filter. It can filter at a 20 micron efficiency of 99%. Uh, that's actually 10, or 10 microns smaller than your average over the counter oil filter. Most oil filters at your local auto parts stores, even the synthetic ones, they're gonna filter between an average of 25 to 30 microns. Uh, so the key is the microns. It's not, efficiency matters, but microns, okay? Because if you have an oil filter that filters, it says 99.9% .9 efficiency, but it's at 30 microns. Well, that means at that particle, anything under 30 microns, it's gonna not be as efficient. Okay, so always check your microns when you're getting these filters. Uh, Amazon makes a really good synthetic filter. Uh, they also sell Wix, Wix filters too, okay? Real quick, you guys, if you guys want any of these products or any Amzoil products, you you can go down below in my description and you can reach out to my Amzoil dealer, Adrian. I've been going to Adrian for the last two, almost three years now. Phenomenal dude. He gets me products super quick. I'm talking, if I order it today, it'll be here two days later on my doorstep. Uh, phenomenal shipping. And on top of that, you'll get a discount code as well, okay? So you guys, if you see me sweating, it's hot out here, by the way. So is Amzoil worth it and the answer I'm going to tell you guys is yes Amzoil is worth it in my opinion okay we can argue all day about uh best oil out there okay my here's my concept you spend a lot of money on these trucks these engines are very expensive everything on these trucks are expensive okay fluids is one of the smallest easiest things you can do to maintain longevity and be able to get max life out of your equipment okay that's what so that is why I do that. I'm a firm believer, if you put the good stuff in your vehicle, your vehicle is gonna give you the good stuff back in return, which is gonna be a happy, healthy motor that is gonna last you a long time, okay? Now, we're not just talking oil or motor oil. We're talking axle fluid, brake fluid, coolant, uh, what else? I can't even think of the other things. Fuel additives, all that type of stuff, all right? You can, a lot of people get the misconception that because it's a diesel truck, they can just run it until kingdom comes, you know, and think it's gonna be hunky-dory, no. Diesels actually have, they need more maintenance if, in the aspect of keeping up with your routine maintenance than a gasoline vehicle. For the pure fact that diesel engines operate at a higher compression ratio, they produce way more combustion and they also produce way more soot than a gasoline engine. So it's essential to keep, and that soot it does get in your oil. I don't care what diesel you have, it gets in your oil. It's, that's just the way diesel engines work. So it is essential to keep your valve train, your crank, your lower bottom end of your engine keep it off uh, you know turning good and all that stuff all right so I'm gonna talk a little bit about the oil and then go from you know so you might you might be saying well cam you know that oil is expensive and stuff and, and here's what I have to say not really okay so right here is Amzo series 3000 synthetic oil this is their basic this is their basic entry into the Amzo brand this right here is comparable and, and actually it's about the same price if not a little cheaper than your shells t6 Rotella this is that entry level into the Amzo brand. This is gonna have, but this still has four times, it doesn't say it on here, but it still has four times wear protection than the leading competitors, okay? Now, if you're trying to get bumped up into the premium stuff, this is also gonna maintain your regular oil change intervals. If you're trying to get into something premium, okay, this is one of them. So you have your Amzo 15W40, you have your premium heavy duty diesel marine oil, this is gonna be good for double intervals. This is really good for deleted trucks and pre-emissions trucks. So 2007 and older, or if your truck's deleted. If your truck's emissions intact, I would recommend Signature Series just because some of the stuff it has in there is a little bit better for your EGR system and et cetera. But this stuff right here is money, okay? So regular intervals, double intervals. So what does that mean by double intervals? So instead of going 14,000 miles or 7,000 miles, whatever your intervals is, you can go twice that. So essentially, you're paying a little bit more, a couple dollars more, but 
again, twice the distance in your oil. And you can do oil analysis to be able to figure out if this is accurate or not. And you know, you can save yourself some money uh, in the long term, especially for my dudes that do hot shotting. And if you're trucking, if you're on the highway all the time changing your oil, you definitely need to be running this stuff because this stuff is gonna double, you're gonna pretty much cut expenses in half for oil changes. And you're gonna double profit because you're gonna be on the road longer instead of you know downtime changing oils and stuff all right so before I get the uh, oil change so what I'm doing you guys is I'm gonna be changing the oil today uh, and also topping off the coolant with some Amzo coolant all right because I drained all the coolant when I installed the compound turbos so we're gonna go ahead I already the coolants ready to get to service I can add that I'm gonna go ahead and drain the oil out the engine and then take the oil filter off swap it I'm not gonna show you guys me doing the oil change you guys seen it so I'm gonna go ahead and do that stuff uh, I might time lapse it I don't know yet but we're gonna get that done last thing I wanted to mention was Amzoil so Amzoil has what's called the preferred customer program where you sign up I think it's a it's an annual fee I think it's like 20 bucks or 25 dollars I can't remember exactly you sign up and you can become a preferred customer what that does is you can save up to 25 percent on Amzoil products so not only if you go through Adrian you would save 10 percent if you refer me so if you say Cameron sent me or I came from everything diesel you would save 10 percent on your Amzo order if you become a preferred customer sign up through him and become a preferred customer you can save up to 25 percent uh, and then you also get like magazines and shirts and all sorts of little stuff like that okay I'm gonna get this started now it's getting hot out, out here the only thing I, w I do want to show you guys with the oil change is this bad boy right here so my last oil change I installed a Geno's uh, drain valve and this is the first time I'm using it, so I wanted to get it on film. But if I'm correct, all we gotta do is just push that guy, push this tab in, and then push down. That is the, that is by far the cleanest oil change I have ever done on my truck. That is legit, awesome. So I'm gonna let that drain, I'm gonna go ahead and take the oil filter off, and then uh, go from there. All right, you guys, so something else I wanted to show you or talk to you about, okay? So you guys know me. I'm hardcore Amzo. Like, I, I, I love it because two things. It works and it's factual. What that means is Amzoil is one of the few companies out there, along with some other ones, that provides actual testing results and facts. They don't just claim all this stuff and then that's it. They actually, you can go on Amzoil.com and they have tons of third-party testing comparing their oil versus competitors all right so but with that being said that doesn't mean I'm not open to trying new things okay now my wife got me this for Father's Day I didn't even know it but she ended up getting this for me because she saw me watching a video on it um, so we're gonna try it out today um, so hot shot secret or hot shot secret station eliminator if Chad Myers Chad Myers 73 if he's watching this he's probably losing his not losing but he's probably jumping in joy uh, he's been he's been trying to get me on the hot shot life for a long time now I ain't gonna lie hot shot makes really good products I did a comparison between hot shot fuel uh, everyday diesel treatment versus Amzoil's uh, diesel injector cleaner and hot shot actually did slightly better than Amzoil not you know Amzoil did good but hot shot was a little better for my testing my experience um, so we're gonna be trying this out so the way this works is you add four ounces for every quart so I have 12 quarts of oil it holds so I'm gonna be adding 48 ounces um, we're gonna see if I notice anything different. It says it's supposed to clean stick shin and all that stuff. Granted, Amzoil has all of the additives in it. Uh, they actually tell you that you don't need any other additives when you're running Amzoil, and they tell you not to. One thing about it too also is the minute, so Amzoil has a warranty, right? Meaning if your engine fails due to the lubrication that was in it, so if you ran Amzoil, and they found that your crankshaft, you spun a crank or you blew, if, if it comes down to it being due to lack of oil properties, Amzoil will warranty your engine and they will, they have to pay and they will get you another engine or pay for the repairs. The minute you add an additive outside of the family, you usually lose that warranty. So keep that in mind anytime you're uh, running. I know Shells has a similar program. A lot of the big oil manufacturers have that warranty. That's another thing too I forgot to talk about. You need to check and see if the oil you're running, if they warrant their oil, meaning if if it fails due to your oil, will it be covered under the oil warranty? Um, so I, I'm fine running this, you know. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the oil right now, you guys, and get this popping. Alright 
you guys. So I just got, I had to change my wardrobe. Oh snap, sneak peek. All right, well, yeah, anyways. So I went ahead and changed my shirt. So it was super hot out here, but not only did I change my shirt, I changed it into something different. Oh yeah, that's right, baby. All right, so um, I'll have more information on these. Not today's video, but later on. So you guys are going to hear the first startup of this truck in this video. If you stuck it out to this end, you're going to hear the first startup of this truck. We're going to be doing a leak check for my coolant fitting that was leaking before. And we're going to go from there. All right. So enjoy. That's it, baby. It's really quiet. It sounds good. Definitely sounds a little quieter than uh, than the second gen swap 467. Also, I did have a small little exhaust. I won't call it exhaust leak, but I had a small little uh, you know a little opening right here before. But now it's all butted up. I used a five-inch piece of pipe and some butt clamps off Amazon. She's all secured, nice and tight. But now we're gonna check for leaks. Make sure, make sure everything's all hunky dory. Brand new oil in here. Really quiet. Wow. I like this. You know that AMS oil quiets down the engine a little bit. No coolant leaking. Very good. Very very good. I gotta add some coolant because uh, I popped her off. All right, you guys, I changed my shirt again. Sweat too much. All right, so. If you guys stuck out to this end, congratulations. You're about to see some legitimate badassery on the third gen. You guys are not ready for this shit. I'm telling you right now. I'm, I'm <laughs> it is my first time driving this truck since I did the compounds. Everything's cool. Oil pressure's good. Coolant is good. Well, coolant's a little high because I just, I got to add more coolant because I added about three gallons. Uh, but once the coolant cycles through, it holds six gallons total. We're going to be good. But I'm going to show you guys. This thing rips, man, and it's on stock fuel, stock CP3, so check it out. All right, so that's my boost. We're going about 20, 25 right now. I'm waiting for this, this Jeep in front of me to kind of make some room so I can go around them. All right, we're at, what are we at? 1,500 RPMs right now. Three pounds of boost, two pounds of boost, according to the CTS2. Check this out, quarter throttle. That sucker just hit 30 PSI like it was nothing. Nothing. Oh my goodness. And we're only on tune three right now on stock fuel. I tested it out on tune one and this thing is legit, you guys. Oh my goodness. I got, I gotta make a, I gotta, I'm gonna make a video, a separate video in depth talking about everything. I still have to, uh, I gotta fix the down pipe. So the down pipe, the down pipe is a five inch one. So it's really tight right now. I'll let you guys listen real quick. She whistles, baby. Oh my goodness. This thing is pulling. It is a pull machine. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so I, I, I gotta fix the, uh, my downpipe's rubbing on the frame right now, on the body right now. So I gotta go in there with a pry bar and kind of pry it out the way and tighten the clamp so it's not, because I'm getting vibrations right now. Uh, the whole truck's like rattling because the downpipe's touching the body right now. So I, I'm not worried about that right now. Um, I'll probably fix it once the truck cools down this evening or tomorrow, but uh, she goes. She goes, you guys. If I can get some uh, clearance between vehicles, 
I'll let you guys see. This is just me driving normally right now. I'm not giving it heavy acceleration. Seven, eight PSI boost like nothing. My, like, I never hit boost like this on the 467 on stock fuel, you guys. I'm, I'm not making this up. This is legitimate me driving. Don't mind this, the crooked steering wheel. I put the new track bar on. Uh, we gotta get an alignment still. So I gotta get an alignment because I put the new track bar on. But uh, EGTs right now is at a little over 400. So it's probably about 420. Actually, it's at 400 right now. This thing's legit, you guys. Um, man. So if you guys are curious, EGTs, boost, fuel pressure. Fuel pressure is down a little bit right now because my batteries have been sitting for a while. So it's at 13 volts. But uh, she's on tune three right now. So I tell you what, it's on tune three. We are going to four, five. So if you guys are, that's one, two, three, four, five. We're about to fucking send this bitch. Fuck it, fuck the world. You guys. If you stuck it out to the end of this part of the video, you guys are getting a treat because I wasn't going to put it in this video because I wanted this video to be strictly Amsoil, but I don't care because you guys, the loyal subscribers, the loyal folks, you guys waited so long to get this video and I'm tired of waiting, uh, especially because I'm going to be busy for the rest of the day today, so I'm not going to be able to do this. Uh, today's Friday, July 3rd, so if you guys stuck it out to this, y'all got a little treat. If you enjoy it, smash the thumbs up. Greatly appreciate all right, we're on some lonely road down in Mexico right now. We're rolling right now, baby. We're rolling. All right, let's see what it does. Holy crap. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. That almost felt like a boosted launch, and it was not a boosted launch at all. Wow. You guys, this is real. This is real, man. This is like no joke. No joke. Wow. All right, let me turn around real quick. All right, you guys, I'll give you guys one more. That last one, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of went into it soft because I was a little scared. Let's check it out. nothing right there oh my goodness god Lee hopefully y'all hear the whistle man this is real the real deal baby all right you guys so once uh, camera's a little dark whatever so that's gonna do it for this video you guys um I just want to give you guys something man something hopefully you guys enjoy it I hope you do um that was extremely extremely fun um let it be laid to rest if you want compounds do it do it it's worth it um man this truck has never i've never felt this truck drive like this man i don't think y'all understand it's pretty sick uh, we got small little things to, to take care of such as the well actually the only thing we got to take care of is that downpipe the downpipe is going to be the death of me because it, it's rattling along the, the inside body of the truck in the engine bay, so it's like making the whole truck rattle right now. Sound like when I'm stopped, it's good, but then when I take off, when the you know when the body rocks back a little bit, it uh actually when I'm idling, sorry, when I come to a stop, when the body comes forward, it vibrates. But then when I'm driving, it's fine because the engine is rocked back and it's out the way right now. Forty. That was 44 pounds of boost, no smoke. This is not a smoky thing at all. You go, man, wow. Dude, I did not know this truck was gonna drive like this, you guys. Like, I had seriously, seriously, like, this is my raw reaction driving this truck with compounds. Did not know. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna bump this down two and three because um, I was not expecting that. Oh my God, you guys. This is crazy. All right, I'm done. This is it. We're out. If you enjoyed this part, smash thumbs up, please. It helps out the channel so much. Thank you guys for checking out the video if you did see it. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, until next time, you guys, take care, be safe, peace out, and I'll be back with you guys soon with more updates on the compounds. Drop all your comments down below. I want to hear what you guys got to say. All right, your boys out.